What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Dying Light. So, before we head out and start doing missions today, I actually want to make sure I reach a safe zone before any of this zombie notice me. So we are in the middle of the night, so that means things are very, very dangerous. If you guys did not see the last video, I went basically uh, trying to save... Well, I guess that was the episode before, but we're trying to save Jay, and things didn't end very well for anyone, you know. Uh, Jay ended up becoming a zombie, and even though we really, really wanted to help Jay, uh, Jay ended up sacrificing herself for us, you know, giving us the last of her cures and turning herself into a zombie. And after that, you know, we realized that Dr. Zerus' uh, sample, you know, her and his research ended up in Ryze's hand, but we did end up getting those, uh, samples back, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, zombie. Let's get rid of those guys first. Or, get away from them first. Hmm. How would I be able to get over there? Ah, I went back where I should've just went over that little bridge over there. Don't want to attract too many uh, attentions, too much attentions from zombie. I don't know why I say too many. Hmm. Where is that save zone? Save zone's over here. I was actually going for a different one, but I was actually going to go for that one. But since we are going to just able to zip line across, might as well just go for this one. Hopefully I don't just land in a big group of zombies. Like what I'm about to do right now. Oh man, I don't want to fight those guys. Gotta be super quiet if I can. Hmm. Well, the mission is actually over there. Uh, we're supposed to go deliver the sample to Ca Dr. Campton, if I remember correctly. I think that's the name. Survivor inside, huh? Ooh, we have enter save zone. Hmm. Is this a door I can enter? Yes. Open sesame. I'm gonna just sleep through the day. Because I know Dr. Camden's actually surrounded by zombies. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna be that bad. In the last video, we actually end up calling off the bombing squad. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, it took me an hour and 40 something minutes. Which is probably one of the longest video I've done Looks for this game. 7,187 points. That, that's a lot. Uh, but I'll probably end up losing it very, very quickly. Right. In the mornings again. Let's see what I can... Ooh, what do you got there? Chilies? Hmm, something. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty delicious. All right, man. What do you got for Trey? Hmm. Got a milk. Uh, this? Is that... Is purple better than orange? Let's see. I can only sell orange for 868 points. Limited time offer. Hmm. I don't know. Purple look like it's, I mean, at the moment, it's selling for almost 10 times the price. So, I don't know. Maybe it is better. Blueprint standard issue Hellfire. It's Hellfire. Huh. I'll buy it just because it's a blueprint of some sort. Hmm, 9,680 something points. That sounds, that's pretty uh, expensive for something just a blue weapon. You don't have anything that's just like purple-ish. Hmm. Wonder how it goes. Is it purple better than blue? I don't know. Some of you guys really need to let me know this. I don't know the level. Is purple better than blue? I'm assuming yes, because maybe is a uh, orange is higher than purple. Purple is higher than blue, and then it goes green, and then just white, 
or no color or whatever it is. So maybe purple is better, blue is somewhere in between, so... Yeah, 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 I've learned craft. Okay, so since it's morning, might as well just take off. I really should start doing some of those side missions because, well, you know, I heard from a viewer, James, I actually played with him, uh, you know, you can get some pretty good stuff from playing, doing side missions. Damn, this party's popping over there. Okay, so let's go over there and see what is happening over there. Where's the mission? Oh, don't really need to do that. I know. I think I'm just uh, used to it by now. Leaving the save zone. Thanks for letting me know. I don't think I'll be able to make this. What the heck? Oh, it's a firefighter zombie. Come on. Good. Surprise! What happened to you? You just died or what? Hmm. Right, this is, uh, I think, Dr. Campton's little research area. And we shall see if we can deliver the sample to him or not. Wait a second. I don't like that sound. Sounds like someone's spitting at me. You know what I mean. He's actually below me. Where is he? I don't see him. Figured this is probably the best way to get access to uh, Dr. Camden's research facility. What in the world? Okay, this guy is somewhere. I mean, he can see. He can definitely attack me from somewhere. He got pretty close. How am I supposed to get in there? Hmm. There's no access on the roof. How is that even possible? You figure like every building has them. Oh, there is. Just kidding. Is that to me? I don't think so. I haven't heard a single zombie. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, let's make this lockpick worth my time. I should have deposited everything earlier. Still can. Oh, hold on, that, that, that's close, but. It's okay. Not the best. Okay, I think I'm gonna head back and just deposit everything I can, just because. You know, I'm sure we'll get a ton of stuff on each mission, and I don't want to just waste space for not picking up stuff. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Is that the, am I going to the right direction? I'm not, I'm heading the totally wrong way. Let's hope I land on the light. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. That must be the most embarrassing death ever. Oh, man. I thought I was going to be landing on that light, but wasn't even close. Saw that light as I was going down. I was like, damn. Okay. So my body probably smashed up by that firefighter zombie. Earlier, you know, right before I made that jump, there was a firefighter zombie hanging around down there. He got me probably smashing me up right now but 
at least uh, we got back to the base. Uh, took 400 points, but we got back. Okay, player sash. There. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to put the katana away. And this one away just because it's no use anymore. I'll keep the hatchet. I'll keep the double barrel shotgun. I have quite a lot of double barrel shotgun, actually. All right, let's put all these away. I'm going to keep this nightclub with me just because I build it. All right, everything else. I should sell these guys. Hmm. Let's see what... I need to see if I can just pick out some stuff from it. Oh, just kidding. What have I been doing? My bad, guys. <laughs> I've been taking them out instead of putting them back in. I was like, wow, I didn't realize I have so many of these. Okay, so we got military, police, accuracy, power. I think the camo police. Wow, the police one's way, way better. Okay, so I'm putting that back. Hmm. Just kidding. My gosh, I feel like a complete idiot. Okay, I think that's better. Where are all my... And then if you see something that you think like, Whoa, how does he get this? That's actually all from James. I did get a lot of the police rifle from that mission. You know, we had to fight with uh, Rise's man. I picked up a bunch of these police rifles thinking that I was going to be able to just sell them. I definitely need to sell all these garbage, uh, sorry, I won't call them garbage, weaker weapons, that's for sure. Uh, and then a lot of these uh, parts, like the king, that's all from James. I'll take all of them. Okay. All right. Let's make sure I just go over and equip what I have. Hmm. Where's my double barrel shotgun? The double barrel shotgun is actually really, really good, guys. All right. Let's upgrade this baby. I think I already put... No, no. Definitely not. I say upgrade. Not dismantle. Okay. All right. Upgrade. The king. Okay. Mine as well. I don't really have anything else. All right. Confirm. Yes. All right, double barrel shotgun can't really be upgraded anyways, so let's go. We're ready this time. This is actually a very, very cool spot. I wonder whoever decided to claim this as an outpost or base is actually pretty smart. All right, let's go. Which way again? To my right. I should start actually looking at my mini map more often. I'm going to use this tomahawk weapon just for now. So, all right, I'm a machete weapon just for now. Until things get really, really scary, then I'll switch weapons. Oh, is that guy that was... Oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't want to die again. I already did once. I'm going to be very, very careful. I think that guy was actually spitting at a different... What the heck was that? Oh, sounds like a bloater blew up. Open sesame, baby. Open sesame. Wait, someone's here. I heard you, man. Don't worry. I heard you. Chop. Chop. Oh, what? That was a double chop for you. Okay, you want a piece of me? Bring it on. This machete is not for showing. I mean, it is, but it's pretty good, too. Nothing compares to the samurai sword. And the scythe, but it's good. Or sorry, not scythe, sickle. It sounds like there's another zombie like on the ceiling with me, but on the mini map, it's not showing me anything. So I'm gonna take that as uh, there's nothing here. Okay. 
Maybe I can't go down from this door? That's not cool. Maybe I have to go and take care of all the zombies. How... Wait, who is that? Is that a nice guy or is that a evil doer? The thing that that zombie was actually like right here, I think. And he didn't do anything. Hmm. I don't know if he was good or bad. But I killed him. I think, I mean, is he protecting Zerus or is he actually, I feel like an asshole if I accidentally kill someone that's supposed to be, oh, that's not good, that's not good, I'm trapped, and there's a bunch of zombies everywhere. Just gotta make sure I'm not in their spitting radius. Alright. Sorry guys, I thought I could make that jump, but take it back. You wanna come up again? I got you. How many times can I chop you before you die? I feel like I took off your arm already. Um, just keep cutting him. Oh, cutting her on the back. Another? Oh, you came up on me as a surprise. Ooh. Oh, and her lower body went down. Okay, so how am I supposed to get back on one of these buildings again? Let's heal myself. That really hurt, though. Dr. Zeras, can I come in with the door? No, I can't. Oh, hold on. There's a ladder. Oh, he's red, so he's evil. The guy is evil. Good, I don't feel bad for uh, killing the other dude right now. Oh! Sorry, I was looking down. Damn. Leg chop. Come on, come on. Yeah, you're scared of my machete? Chop, 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 chop. So I thought. Okay. Oh, no, wrong thing. No, not the double barrel. Look over there. You're dead. Seventy bucks. All right. I'm gonna jump onto the solar panel first. Yes. I'll take the police rifle any day, baby. Is there another ladder or something that I can climb? Because I don't know where else I can go in. This is the entrance below. Why do we have to clear out all the zombies? Who is talking? Is there someone fighting zombie or what? Well... Maybe I can just take them out. Hmm. Let's see how good this weapon is, guys. Oh, he's a regular dude. He's over there. I can see him. I hope he attract all the zombies. Yeah, zombie, go get him. Go get him.
Oh, what the? I did not see all these zombies nearby. Oh. Oh, crap. That's welcoming me with two hostiles. Ooh, that's what I thought, punk. Right. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Can I close the Got door? It. I just don't feel safe. Even though I don't know if they can crouch, but I don't feel safe. Use the elevator. The button. Alright, Camden. You're telling me that this whole time these guys could have just pushed the elevator button and get in? And they're just sitting there waiting for me? Alright, how long does it take for the elevator? Seriously. This is a good weapon too, guys. Even though it's not as cool as the sickle, but it is nice. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. Well, Dr. Camden, you better make it worth my time, because I came all the way here. Die once for you too. Well, I kind of jumped off the building and killed myself. Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Huron virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down. He's going to make me uh, Aaron Boy and, like, Trying to turn on the power and the power freaking surrounded by countless zombies. Open, come on. Seriously? Oh man. Power! Power! Hi, oh. Uh, hope you don't mind me reminiscing out loud like this. It's, uh, it's been quite a number of weeks since I've had the prospect of talking to an actual live human. Okay, so I'm actually playing without my glasses on at the moment, and uh, this water is only going to make it worse. How did I get hurt? Right. Oh, uh, and the door leading to the main corridor can only be opened manually. I have to get to the security room and throw the switch. On my way. Make me feel like, uh, what's the thing? Resident Evil? Ever seen of it? Or Doom? You know, where I were there inside the laboratory? This is what I feel like right now, too. Oh, to search. Empty, huh? Any of the lockers available to search? There must be some. Just kidding, I take it back. None, huh? What's out there? I swear it says there's something over here. Oh, it's the door. Gotta make sure no surprises for me. Strings, huh? Five bucks. Battery. Okay. Not very good. On the other side of that wall. Anything here? No. There's zombies over there. I can tell. Empty. Right. Uh, so where am I supposed to go? Hmm. I'm certain that it's this way. I mean, the whole area is highlighted. Unless there's like a hatch or something that I'm supposed to climb through. And none of these are... I can't, op I can't open any of these side doors. Oh, just kidding. There's a hatch. That I'm supposed to go through. Of course, of course. A 
their rodent. Hmm. I'm not gonna be finding some, uh... I think there's some body over there. Well, he can chop here. So I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be zombies in here. Because he's still waving his freaking weapon like a wonder sword here. So, okay, no zombies. Can we do a soft landing? This guy's gonna, not gonna uh, come up at me, is he? Just wanna make sure. Oh no, I don't need a camouflage. Ah, oh, whenever there's a laboratory, I just feel like there's gonna be some kind of mutant... ...zombies. Nothing, huh? Trash cans, probably just some lockpick, yep. Unlock door. All right, now go down the main corridor. The lab is on the left. When the outbreak happened, Sarah and I stayed in the quarantine to work on the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Sulem. Rise himself. That worked out just perfectly. Sure did. Let's just camouflage real quick. You know, I figure camouflage will last a lot longer. Camouflage. Oh man. Okay, so they got two of those big dudes over there waiting for me. I wish I can open the door for you guys. I am almost certain that there's gonna I have to fight those guys sooner or later. So can I kill both of them? I did not kill any of them? I guess this is a pretty uh, strong glass or something. Not anymore though. Wait, what? Are you st you guys still alive after all that shot? Okay, that has to be dead, right? Alright, that's good. Let's see if I can kill these guys from the other side. Oh, whoa, this is actually one of those uh, way bigger dudes. Might be able to blow him up because there's a. No, unfortunately, it looks like it's getting blocked off completely. Right. I'm just save my ammunition instead. Okay, the only way into the lab is through the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything went straight to hell after Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full-blown monster. Oh. Surprise. Didn't even see him at all. Camouflage time. Gosh, he must be used to it right now. Well, looks like this is busted. You'll have to run the decontamination protocol to unlock the doors. Yeah, that means without full power though, that's where the generators come in. Head to the offices. Once you're there, I'll point you in the right direction. Alright, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a, a man very similar to you. The operative who helped us was supposed to evacuate alongside us, but you can uh, 
guess how well that worked out. Since hmm. Tara and I both got stuck here. Oh, be extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part of the facility as I never had reason to go in there. Find a way. Oh, the office area is over there. I got separated from the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to work on finding a cure. Watch it. I'm opening the door. Oh, fantastic. Sarah and the operative fell in with Brecken's crowd. I guess I would have as well if I'd been able to get to them. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but the only way to get to the generator room is through the ventilation shafts. The shafts lead to the stock room, and from there you can reach the hallway and then the generators. Uh, I don't want him. Out of all the zombies, he's like the last one I want to stand up. I think I accidentally hit the bag. Oh, you decided to wake up too? That mean all the zombie that look like they were in positive turning is uh, alive? Well, I guess I did start chopping them up. Are you gonna get up too? Why don't you blow up? Yeah, like that. Let's blow him up too. Is he gonna get up? He's on fire and he got blew up, so I don't think so. Ventilation shack. Oh, there's that. Oh, hold on, that doesn't work. No surprises, no surprises. Oh, surprises! Shit, many, many surprises. Kind of surprise I did not want to deal with. Good thing he wasn't like right at the door. Any more surprises? I don't think so. Oh, quite a lot of zombies, that's for sure. One down, or sorry, none down. Come on, you guys all want a piece of me, I know. What is he doing? He was just standing there like he was gonna wave at me or something. Stop playing dead. I know you're there crawling, so... Close the doors. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to fight that guy that's, uh, those big guys that's standing in the back over there. I think the best way to fight them is probably with the explosives. Now, if you guys remember, before I was using the, uh, all those barrels to kill them, they're pretty tough. Very tough, in fact. Ventilation system, of course, of course. Uh, don't like the sewer or the ventilation system. I'm gonna turn one of these corners and the freaking zombie's gonna pop out at me. You have to kill those guys from up here? Oh, nice. Hold on. We might be able to. Oh, 
Did I even hit him? I don't think so. Oh, that's the guy maybe I saw that's, uh... While I was away. Come on, I was trying to shoot at your... The barrel that's in the back of your... Suit. Butt shot. Got him. Got the hard kill zombie, so. Wait a second. Okay, so this way was a dead end. So I'm not. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Can't get over there. Oh man, I don't like the fact that there's so much toxic gas in here. Look at that. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a crap hole. I think there's only one zombie that's a fast one. Head knife. How's that? Did I kill him? Another one. I think I got him. I don't think he's actually a fast one at all, actually. Hmm. You guys all dead? Gosh, they look so terrifying, I swear. But we're good. This room's clear. Just search without blowing myself up. Anything in here? Well, other than what I'm looking at. Anything else? Don't think so. Hmm, I said the door is this one. So... A little confused. It won't let me in, so is that... Is, is there an air dock that I can crawl through over here? Hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. Something over there. Come on. I can't get in there. Wait. Oh, I can drive the vehicle. I think. Or sorry, just lower the crank. I mean, lower the forklift. Not driving the vehicle. I actually got kind of excited about driving the vehicle. <laughs> this time I can uh, kill him without having big issues that's one two three how many shots does it take four five 
Hmm. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, this is ridiculous. Ten. Roughly ten shots. I might have missed a few times, maybe. But, plus or minus. Are you guys gonna get up? Because I know you guys will. Might as well get up now. Let me get a solid clean hit on you so I don't accidentally hit you in the back. He's throwing up. Is that, is that good? Search this fella. 480 bucks. No, no ammunition. That's the part that sucks. I really need a refill on all the bullets, including my shotgun bullets. Oh, you're gonna get up and surprise me? Surprise! Here's another one for you. I thought that suit's supposed to be fully, like, seal. But I guess since I slash away, it's probably not anymore, huh? Just making sure there's no more zombies gonna get up at me. Come on, get up. I know you want a piece of me. Oh, I feel like that was a pretty bloody slash. Good. Another one? Gosh, how many of them are here? Slash! One more time. I hit him. Ooh, he went up in flames. But, I don't really care. I just want the case. Come on, ammunition, ammunition, no. Of course not. That'd be too easy. Alright, lift up. I think this is the hallway where uh, that big zombie was. I think so. What's up, fellas? I'm here. Come on, come get a piece of this. I know you want it. Slash, 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 slash. I know you want a piece of this. You too. All right, time to repair. I've been waiting for the last moment just to repair this thing. I don't want to waste too many parts, and this is actually a pretty good blade. One of the best ones I got so far, actually. God, they were munching the crap out of that dude. This is the... Hmm, Paladin, huh? That sounds pretty good. Simple Sickle. Oh, can't open this guy. Open sesame? No. Open sesame. Nope. So which door am I supposed to walk through? None of these. Or what? Or I'm just gonna go through a window, I guess. Any special zombies hiding here? I'm just gonna behead this guy. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's an option, so I hope he doesn't come up and bite me. Kind of surprised he knows how to operate all these. Good job. All right, now head back to the decontamination room. You know, I suspect even if Zara had to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. I think with all the noises, there's a good chance that uh, the zombies are swamp over there. <laughs> 
let's take a look before. Are they being, uh... Hmm, I feel like I should be. Oh, they're all dead. Wow, that works like wonders. Okay. Alright, now you can come in. Well, since you guys are all dead, don't mind me. I'm just gonna search for you guys' stuff. You know, might as well let me have it instead of uh, wasting it, right? I'm sure you guys will agree too. Surprise weapon. Come on, give me something. No. Something good, something good. Nothing good. I mean, come on, I'm in the freaking laboratory. It has to have something for me. This guy's like guiding me through all sorts of areas that I don't feel safe about. I feel like he's just using me to clear out zombies and later on betray me or something. Is he gonna like be a mutant zombie? Finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? How in the world did he stay alive here? The door was unlocked, and there was tons of zombies out there. Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. The GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We, uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now, I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Pray you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch. Right. Looks like we're good. Contact the GRE, huh? So it's time to get the F out of here. Uh, I doubt I'll need this. I'm hoping that it's still daytime outside. I mean, we've pretty much cleared out all the zombies, I hope. No more surprises. The doc should take this uh, opportunity and just close up everything. Alright. If I was a doctor, I would just seal out the whole facility right now. very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zara's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. Oh, well, now we gotta go reporting duty to our boss that fired us and now wants us back for work. You know, just because we exposed their little show. Trying to convince people that there's no survivors in this town. Of course Listen, it's nighttime. Great, I gotta reiterate. You better want 
watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where they. Hmm. Of course, it's nighttime. It's always nighttime. So our destination is over there. Ah, come on, guys. I'm just trying to leave the building. At this rate, I'm never gonna be able to leave. Like they're crawling by the freaking front door. Okay, uh, do I have any firecrackers? I didn't pack any firecrackers. Move aside, punks. Oh, I do not want to mess with that guy. Woo, okay, so we are in night time. two more shots but I have attracted too much attention so if I end up going out right now I'll be dead for sure good things that they can't come in they're not smart enough but that guy is the one that I need to worry about the most belly shot belly shot belly shot how many belly shots can it take Oh wait, he's hurting me actually. Whoa, he got to a point where he can actually shot his uh, little nasty fluids at me. Yep, he's back again. Hmm. Stomach shot. Or should I say? Maybe I should go for the headshot. Okay, I definitely need a little first aid kit. Oh, he is so smart, guys. Look at that. The moment I leave away from the door, he goes bye-bye. Pursuit evaded, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna camouflage myself real quick. Oh, fantastic. Of course, ooh, they're after me now. I need to get the F off the street. He's actually a faster climber than me. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Woo, of course. Hmm. Fantastic. I thought I'd be able to get out get away from them, but he's probably like right on top of me trying to kill me. Well, I'm back in the safe zone. That's pretty much where I want to reach anyways. But uh <laughs> let's just report to duty to my boss real quick and see what happens. Contact the GRE, I'm, I'm outside, so, uh, okay, so he wanted me to go somewhere else, but, okay, maybe not. Alright, guys, I think this is a good place to end today's video. We delivered the sample to Dr. Camden. Hopefully, he will figure something out. Maybe he will need me to make another trip for the rest of the research samples. If he does, we'll probably have to confront Ryza again, which I'm sure we will. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did... Make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It'll be a huge help. While you're at it, check out some other videos and I'll see you guys next time.